Alright, what's good y'all? It's Lucy back with another video. So I'm about to break down the sample on the screen right here right now. So let's get straight to it. Alright, so the sample is in four different sections right here. So we got this section, this section, this and this. And the whole sample is like nine sounds. I'm gonna walk you through them uh, step by step. And they are pretty much all very simple patterns and nothing crazy going on at all. Maybe the first melody is a little complex with the with the effects and the automation but the rest is super simple and uh, yeah so i'm just gonna start off by breaking down this this says uh, first section and then move on to the second and third and fourth so i'm just gonna scroll down here right now and like pretty much recreate the full sample uh, instead of going in here and show you how i made each step because i feel like it's simpler for you guys to follow along if i recreate it fully uh, in the playlist down here and uh, so i start off by like placing the pattern right here and going to analog lab i went to my analog lab bank that dropped recently which is the indigo bank right here and i went with the smile preset uh, which is a key so i'm just gonna show you the pattern show you explain how i made it and then show you the processing as well all right so i'm just gonna delete uh, everything really and show you how i made it so i start off with the c sharp minor chord and i uh, dragged it out for two bars and then i uh, duplicated it over three times just like that then I duplicated it once again, pitched down five semitones, and I took the root note and pitched up a octave. Here's what the chord progression sounds like. And after that, I just shortened these a little bit. So after I had this chord progression, I just placed out a B note right here and a E note right here. Um, yeah, uh, I cannot explain why it just sounded good, uh, and I just like the high pitched, uh, like the sound of the high pitched notes in this uh, preset. So there's what the MIDI sounds like. So yeah, I've been saying this in previous videos, but I like to like sometimes to make a super simple pattern, or like a super simple MIDI, uh, so I can go crazier with the effects later on, which I kind of did with this melody right here. So I'm gonna show you the effects right now. Let's start off with an EQ, taking out the highs and the lows. Uh, I took out the highs because it kind of like makes the sample warmer and sound kind of old. After that, I went to Portal and I went to the Riot Bank from the Riot Kit by Marco Lenz. If you want to cop this kit, there's a link in the description down below. Face preset right here, and I automated the mix knob. I'm gonna show you the automation in a second. After the Portal, I added a vintage chorus, and I also automated the mix right here. I think this is a new VST for FL21. I haven't like seen it before I upgraded to 21. And after the chorus, I added a effect track, and I went to the delay section, and I went with this preset right here, reverse echoes, and I also automated the mix knob of this preset right here and finally i took out even more of the high frequencies so you got the mid right here and all the automations right here so the first one is for portal the second one is for a vintage chorus and this one is uh, and this is the effect track before i play it i just want to show you so you can see the effect track is going up right here and right here which is at the same times as these two notes so the reverse echoes is only coming in in the sample when these are hitting and then they like slowly fades out as you can see here so after i had all this i rendered it out to a WAV file yeah i'm gonna play it and uh, yeah you can look at the automation so you can hear where the fix comes in So now I'm gonna delete all of this because uh, everything is already in the WAV file down there. So now we got the WAV file right here. So after I had the first WAV file, I added a new pattern down here. And I went to my Indigo bank again and I went with the Elevate preset this time, which is a synth key. And I made a even simpler pattern this time. It's just uh, G sharp to E and then B to E. So they're going back to the same notes, but it's different notes. So yeah, I'm gonna play this in contrast with the original melody because just like this, it would be too boring.
And for the effects on the little pad thing or the synth key, I added a Valhalla reverb and some EQ, taking out some of the highs again and some of the lows. And after that, I just uh, rendered out to a WAV file again to keep stuff organized. So after I had this, uh, I wanted to add some like textures or stuff like that. So I went to a kit that I've been working on recently and to look for some accents. And I found this one right here. It's kind of like a flute or yeah, something like that. Yeah, I just, and I dragged it in right here and I pitched down 600 semitones, time stretched it to uh, fit the BPM. So I just placed it here, I didn't place it like this because it comes in pretty like unpredictable right here. So I, I don't know, I thought it was a nice touch to the sample and here's what it sounds like. So after I had these three sounds, I only added one more sound for the like first uh, section of the sample. And so I brought back the pattern and uh, for the final sound, uh, I went to Serum and I went to the key hold preset, which is available in uh, the Shapes Serum Bank by Shadow. Yeah, for the MIDI, it's super simple again. It's the exact same chord progression with the same inversion at the end right here. But I also duplicated the root notes and pitched them down one octave. And I also added these notes right here at the end of each fourth bar uh, just to add some like cool elements to the sample. So I'm gonna play you the serum by itself so you can hear what it sounds like. And when you're using these harsh sounds from from Serum, make your uh, chords a lot shorter than longer. So with the first pattern I made, the chords are going out throughout the whole, like until the next bar hits or like the next chord hits because it's the very ambient and it's fading out throughout the notes. So you know, like how the notes fade out. It gets quieter and quieter, but with Serum they just keeps like keeps the same level of like volume. A good tip is to chop them up and leave some space for other sounds in the melody, as you can see. So that's what the chord progression sounds like. For the effects I just added an EQ to take out some of the low end. So here's what the Serum sounds like with the other elements right here. Uh, after that, I just rendered out to a WAV file again, uh, just like that. Uh, I didn't do anything to it, as you can see right here. Uh, it's everything for the first section of the loop, so let's move on to the second section. So I start off by duplicating the original melody right here, over, and then uh, making it unique. And then I pitch down a whole octave like this. And I also go uh, drag back the fade, fade out a little bit, because there was a little click right here. I just dragged it out a little bit like that. And after that, I just uh, took down these little bits just to stay organized with the like uh, patterns and everything. But after we have the pitch down version, it sounds like this. So I'm about to add new sounds that are like higher pitched or like in a higher frequency range. Or before I add new sounds, I also duplicated this one over. Uh, so I added the pattern right here and I went to Serum again and I went to the Void Serum Bag by Shadow again. And I went to the Lead Astro Preset, which is a super, super fire lead that I've been using a lot lately. And uh, the mid is pretty simple. Uh, the notes right here that are hitting at every other bar is just the fifth of the chord progression. So here we had a C sharp minor. So the fifth is sitting right here. Same, same here and same here. And here we have the fifth of the next chord. Here we have a G sharp minor. So the fifth is sitting right here. So and then I just added these notes again. They're the same from the previous serum pattern. So here's what it sounds like with the with the other sounds together. Uh, for the effects, I added an EQ, taking out some of the highs and some of the lows. A chorus from Eventide. 
right Syrah chorus so after I had the pattern I rendered out to an audio clip again and I added another pattern down here and for this uh, pattern right here I went to Serum again to this bank right here which is the Sinju Serum Bank Volume 1 and I went with this pad a reverse chord thing so as you can see I chopped them up in a really weird place right here and that's because that's right where the chords stops if I drag it out like this the chord just keeps playing so I just chopped it up right here at the like right when the chord stops And yeah, that's pretty much it for that pattern. It's the same chords so again, nothing crazy. For the effects, I just added some reverb and some EQ. So after I had the pattern, I just rendered out to a WAV file. And as you can see on the WAV file, the audio just gets louder and louder. The final sound for the second section of the loop uh, was a percussion slash texture. Texture loop from only one, and it sounds like this. And I dragged it in right here. The time stretched it to the BPM and I pitched it down a whole octave. So here's what it sounds like after that. So yeah, that's that's everything for the second uh, section of the sample. So here's what that sounds like. So the third section is really simple, I just brought back the original high pitched melody, right here, and I brought back the original serum, this one, over here, and I also brought back the new serum, the lead, over here. So no new sounds for this third section, and here's what they sound like together. And then we have the fourth and final section right here. And I started off by duplicating this one. And after that, I also duplicated the reversed chords. And then I added one final sound to the melody right here, which is from the Juno 6 by Arturia. And I went with the hardwired bass. And here's what the MIDI sounds like. It's the, just the roots notes hitting at the like every other bar at the same time as the chords. But right before the, the long bass note, there's a little stab note hitting. And also the reason I cut up the bass right here is because right here, like right here at this line is where the high pitched notes from the original melody hits, which is supposed to be the E and the B or something like that. So I'm just gonna play you those two to contrast so you can understand what I mean. After that I rendered out to wave right again right here. And that's pretty much the whole loop after I had this. So I just added the stems at the end and rendered it out to a WAV file right here. But yeah, that's pretty much the breakdown. I'm gonna play you the whole sample right now from start to finish. Alright man, so that's pretty much it for the video, hope you enjoyed the sample and the breakdown. It's kind of a different sample from what I usually make, but I think it's nice to like switch up the vibes on the channel. Hope you enjoyed it, if you did leave a like, comment and subscribe, and yeah, I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video.